it all comes down to how bad do you want it? I worked for 30 days free at multiple jobs just to get the knowledge that I needed to get to where I'm at today. I think maybe three jobs, 30 days. So I just read somewhere that, you know, offering to work for free somewhere, they're not gonna turn down that labor whatever way they need, but that gets you right into the mix of the business, you know, um, whatever business it may be. So just wanting it bad, you start to sacrifice things. You start to look at the environment differently. When I wanted to become a printer, I just knew, like, that's it. I need to be around machines. I need to be around printers. I need to be around print machines. I need to be around the owners of the companies. I need to find out how sales are being made. That was just really where my focus was. I, like, I wanted it so bad, so I just would always work places and build relationships with the companies. That's just, I mean, here I am, a black kid out of prison. You know, all I got is my GED. I know people have accomplished more with less, but at the same time, I'm still beating myself up at this point. Nobody wouldn't hire me. So I just happened to, you know, to get under my anxiety of getting out and not knowing anything, you know, just sit there and read this book that just inspired me. Um, I think it was just thinking grow rich. I was listening to it and reading it at the same time. And it was just like, how bad do you want it? Basically, it was just one of the chapters I felt it was just plain and simple. It's just how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? You know, <laughs> like, are you willing to sacrifice a week or two? Are you willing to sacrifice a month? You want to sacrifice a year, you know? And I, I just knew to know that anybody else that was lined up against me at that moment that was trying to, you know, coming from where I was coming from, trying to dig deep and learn the print game and just make a staple for his name. I mean, I, I wanted it real bad. And, um, you know, I like to visit that place a lot. I just revisit it. Just go back to him and be like, remember that time you was hungry? Remember that time, you know, they didn't respect your prices? Remember that time you didn't know, understand the machines? Remember that time they got over on you on that print order? Remember that time you messed up on the inks? Which I always mess up, but I always try to dig back deep into the beginning when I knew nothing and I was just a student, you know? Um... It definitely would get you ahead just sacrificing things that you didn't think were even valuable, which is your time. Go and offer your time at that occupation that you're interested in. Like I said, I'm going to go back to printing. If you're trying to be a printer, go catch shirts at the back of the dryer in a warehouse all summer. You're going to meet printers. You're going to count shirts. You're going to see colors. You know, um, I was catching shirts at the back of a dryer for about eight months. And um, a few times orders were off. They were trying to dock my pay. Like, you know, I argued every time. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all not taking my pay off for that. But I'm like, I'm not the printer. But I just started to see the responsibilities in a print shop. Of Even though I'm the shirt catcher, I need to be paying attention to how the ink lines up. You know, like I need to make sure that all the colors are printed the way they're supposed to. There isn't any extra dots, any extra spots. I need to get the count right, you know, because when that's off, the customer's upset. So as an owner of a company, you want all your people on the floor to be accountable. So me being there for that first 30 days and being upset made me highly aware that of what I was just doing it for. So I was just learning more. You know, I paid attention to more situations than somebody who wouldn't. So at this point, I already had a company and I was just catching shirts at the back of the dryer. Hot, only making $9.50 an hour, but networking and um, doing print orders on the side on my phone. I mean, <laughs> I got to a point where I was sending print orders through the company. They just didn't know they were mine. I mean, I just, I just wanted it. I still want it.